For today's first activity, we are going to be working on comparing and contrasting myths because there's a lot of times that myths have similar messages that are being brought across. And so if we look at the word compare, we know that that is finding similarities between two or more objects and contrasting is finding differences between those two or th two or more objects. And they could be stories with, as those objects. And so what we're going to do is on page 15 of your interactive notebook, we are going to be comparing the shrouded myth, myth, myth that we read in the first unit compared to Cronus and finding similarities and differences. And so I've broken up and pulled quotes from each of those myths, and we're gonna find the similarities and differences between the two. So a long, long time ago, even before Perseus was born, his grandfather, Chryseus, the king of Argos, was given a prophecy that he would someday be killed by his grandson. And that was from Shrouded in Myth. And so that was from our myth that we read in the first unit. And our second quote is, Cronus was afraid that his children might one day rise up against his authority as he had against his own father, Uranus. His father had predicted that this would happen. And so if we're thinking about those two quotes, we're trying to find something that's similar between the two. And so on this page 16, when you're comparing and contrasting, when you're finding the differences, you put them in the circle that's by itself. So that would be up in this section or this section. And then the things that are similar, you're gonna put in where those circles overlap. This is called a Venn diagram. And so one thing that I noticed in these passages is in something that's similar is that in both there's a sense of fate or prophecy that makes a character fear loss of power. And we notice that in both of those passages. And so I'm going to put that in this middle section. So Zeus had been watching Danae and thought she was stunning, too beautiful to resist. He turned himself into a golden rain and poured through the bronze bars in the roof of her elaborate dungeon. So that was in the first passage. And then when it came to Zeus, her sixth and last child, Rhea was determined to save this one child at least to love and cherish. She asked her parents, Uranus and Gaia, for advice and assistance. They told her to wrap a stone in baby's clothes and give it to Cronus. She did, and he swallowed the stone without noticing the deception. So you're going to put in here what is similar and see if you can come up with a whole sentence of something that's similar. So not just that Zeus is in both of them, but how are these two passages similar? And you're gonna put that in the overlapping areas. And then you're going to do that with three and four. So you're gonna have four things that are similar. And then what I want you to do is, okay, how are these things different? So if I go back and find section five, and we might not have as quite as many, but we can kind of do a general sense of when we read this, we can see that Acrisius is killed by his grandson. Well, that didn't happen in Cronus. He was not killed by his son, grandson. That was only in Shrouded in Myth. And so I'm gonna make a new text box in this one. And I'm gonna bring this to Shrouded in Myth. And I am going to put in Acrisius is killed by his grandson. And so I'm gonna fill this circle in as well. And then in Cronus, what is similar, but it is different is that in Cronus, he was dethroned by his son. So there's still that loss of power and the fear of power that was similar, but this is how they were different. And so you are going to add on to these comparing and contrasting as you read through those different paragraphs on page 15. And then this Venn diagram is on page 16. So you're going to add on to it and find, find at least one similarity in in every single paragraph. And then you might be able to combine some in the differences as well, but you could also add one for each of these as well. So that is gonna help us find, figure out what is similar about myths and what is different about myths. And then we're gonna move into another section that we find about the elements that we can find in just about all myths. So once you're done with this, click next in Canvas.